Hey everyone, this is Verdelet here, and today we have post-narrated Pokemon X and Y I've had battles since we've been doing the gym battles for a lot of time now, so I thought we would have a post-narrated battle. Plus, it's against Prof. No Good. He's a Poketuber, so be sure to check him out. His YouTube will be in the description. Uh, he's an amazing Poketuber. He's he's a mixture of a good player and a really, really good narrator, so he's so entertaining to watch. Mostly he does um, ranked battle spot ranked battles and stuff but he also does six for six which is very entertaining in my opinion and uh, yeah as you can see on steam i am really scared of the medicham mostly and i also predicted the mamswine to be the lead so yeah also guys please follow me on twitter so i can communicate better with my with my people and also look for battles so yeah that would be awesome anyways like i said i predicted mamswine to be the lead so i sent out my talent flame Usually I have Crobat on this team instead of Talonflame, but Crobat um, was going on a vacation, so I used Talonflame instead. Uh, he sent out his Mamoswine. I went for Willowis, but didn't want to overpredict. I don't want him uh, because I was 99% sure he'd set up the rocks. So I went for Willowis. It does not affect the Arcanine, so I switched out because I know his Arcanine is physically defensive. It's his ace Pokemon. Um, so I switch out and. Um, Go into my own Arcanine, which is actually physically offensive, not defensive, but I predicted the Will-O-Wisp and I wanted to, uh, uh, like, get my Garchomp as soon as possible without being burned. So I used Arcanine as a, as a link or a way to get, to avoid the Will-O-Wisp. So I went for Earthquake, hopefully the other Earthquake will kill after the burn. Uh, I'm not physically invested, so, sh so the damage there isn't too amazing, but yeah, uh, hopefully the Earthquake will kill, but... It falls short to the kill and was really uh, unfortunate, but it's okay because Parthenax has has rest on it. So here, um, I was debating whether to rest or go for Earthquake, but honestly, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to let this Arcanine roam free and stuff. So I just wanted to Earthquake it. And uh, from the strange, I hope I can take the move from Staraptor. It's Reckless Staraptor with Brave Bird. This is ridiculous. Base power, I think 150 with Reckless, and its attack is really high, but. As usual, Parthenax manages to take physical hits like a champion. Um, and he loses almost 50% of his health thanks to the rough skin, rocky helmet, and recoil. And now I go for rest, uh, showing him that one on ones the Raptor cannot defeat my ace Pokemon Garchomp. So we're both bringing our ace Pokemon. I, I think Arcanine is his ace Pokemon, even though his display picture is Haunter. But uh, he always uses Arcanine and he really loves it. So here he switches out thinking that I'm asleep. Uh, I go for Sleep Talk, and hopefully I land the Earthquake, or thankfully. Um, even though it's the most, it's the biggest, uh, I mean it's the mo medium thing, because if I landed Outrage, I'd be super lucky. If I got Rest, I'd be unlucky. So Earthquake is kind of at the half. So he sets up the rocks. I go for Empoleon. Honestly, I, I was predicting Ice Shards. He goes for Earthquake. I know my, my Empoleon can take one stab Earthquake from any Pokemon almost. I go for Scald and finish him off. It's a tor Torrent boosted, so the critical hit was really was irrelevant in, in so many ways. And uh, I get some of my health thanks to the leftovers. I don't manage to, to, to defog, unfortunately. Uh, here he sends out his Medicham. I predicted Fake Out first. People like to Fake Out even if it's uh, useless. Um, because I'll get more leftovers than the Fake Out damage. So he Mega Evolves, and if he Fakes Out, it's, it's gonna damage him a lot. Like 25% of his health, or even 30%. So goes for Dream Punch uh, because he's a better player than just going for a random fake out. And uh, Dream Punch, uh, thankfully the draining effect goes first and then Rough Skin Rocky Helmet so he didn't gain any health. Here I was scouting for Ice Punch, I didn't uh, expect Empoleon to live anything at all but I was just scouting if he has Ice Punch or not. And he actually goes for Ice Punch and I managed to live with 1 HP. How amazing is that, Empoleon always living with low HP. So here he feared the Aqua Jet and made a huge misplay, he even said that it's a misplay. By going for Bullet Punch, he forgot that it's double resisted. So I go for Skull, Torrent Boosted, to my surprise it does not kill, but I get the burn, so I was super lucky here. Um, and he goes down to the Skull, which is uh, amazing honestly, um, or the burn, because I got rid of this super scary thing. Here he sends out the Espeon, I figured he'd gonna set up, set up walls or Calm Mind. So I just went for Defog, even though he has Magic Bounce, Defog would still remove my rocks, but unfortunately it will not remove the screens because uh, Defog does not remove your screens, so technically he used Defog because he has Magic Bounce, so it did not remove his screens. 
So yeah, uh, he switches out, but the most important thing is that I removed the Stealth Rocks for Charizard and Talonflame. And uh, he goes into Gudra. Uh, I said, hey, yeah, I, I made the double uh, switch into my Talonflame. And, um, and that was perfect matchup for me. I went for Soul Dance in case he wanted to go for Muddy Water or Surf or anything. Uh, but he actually, since I have the Citrus Berry, but he actually sends out his Arcanine. Which I think uh, I'm not going to be able to sweep right now with this Talonflame, so I just decided just to switch out. And he goes for Morning Sun. I was hoping that he'd attack me with uh, with the Extreme Speed or maybe Flare Blitz, but um, he doesn't do that. He just goes for the Morning Morning Star, Morning Rest. So here I'm asleep, and uh, I go for Sleep Talk. Hopefully that I get the Outrage and get rid of this Raptor, but I get the Earthquake, which uh, which is fine honestly because. He'll get a lot of recoil by just touching me, and this is what I really want. So here, uh, he goes back to his Arcanine just to make me minus two. I wake up and go for the rest because I didn't actually expect to live from the Raptor. I just wanted, in case I live, to give it a lot of damage by just resting. So he switches out and goes into his Gudra. As I go for the Sleep Talk, and uh, I was really hoping for the Outrage because it will do a lot of damage. I get the sleep talk, and um, don't forget I'm at minus two, so this earthquake will not do crap. And uh, it does around 30%. So I switch out, uh, go into my Empress, just second it off because it did its job, and nothing really wants to take a Dragon Pulse. And but he goes for Muddy Water, which is a good prediction on his part. Or actually, this is not a prediction. He just predicted the switch most likely. So the light screen goes off. It does not matter. I just go for my Arcanine to go for close combat because. I don't have a direct answer for this thing, all I have are special attackers. Actually, I do have a physical attacker, but it's the Talonflame. Talonflame cannot attack instantly because it has acrobatics over Brave Bird. I just prefer this set. Um, I go for close combat and this doesn't do crap to his Arcanine, and his Arcanine is like, get out of here, you you weak link Arcanine, and I'm like, okay, sure. I switch out my Arcanine because there's no way I can win 1v1 against a defensive Arcanine. Send out my Garchomp to... Uh, get some of the damage from him, but he goes into his Espeon, making the double switch. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, it works out really good for him. He sets up the Reflect, I go for Sleep Talk, and do I get the Outrage or Arrest? Nope. I get Earthquake again and again and again. For some reason, uh, Sleep Talk is just stuck on Earthquake. So it does decent damage considering that I'm not invested and the Reflect is up. He goes for Dazzling Gleam, and this is a two hit KO. Um, I go for Outrage, because I know I knew I'd wake up on this turn. I go for Outrage and it does not kill. Here he made the second big misplay by him. He thought I switch out into my uh, Talonflame because Sleep Talk I think confused him since I will not get stuck on Outrage through Sleep Talk. But uh, I was actually stuck. Or if, if I was uh, if I wasn't stuck, I'd definitely switch into Talonflame. But yeah, um, I managed to take this out. I want to Outrage the Gudra because I think Outrage will kill from this range. But I hit myself in confusion and. Um, I guess this hopefully makes up for um, for his misplay. I hope, but actually not really because his Espeon died. He could have been it could have been alive. So I send out my Burning Red. This is it. I just want to sweep uh, and most likely get rid of the Arcanine because once Empoleon and uh, Garchomp are down, I can't. I don't have a direct answer for this Arcanine. So go for Star's Dance. I know he's defensive, so he does not have Wild Charge. Uh, he goes for Extreme Speed, wanting to damage me a bit. But I continue going for Star Dance, and the reason for that, uh, I'm not getting greedy or anything. I'm just waiting for the Reflect to go and for my Citrus Berry to be eaten, since I only have Acrobatics. Go for another Star Dance, and he goes for Morning Sun, embracing himself for the um, super damage that uh, that Burning Red will apply on him. So he goes for last Extreme Speed, and I eat the Citrus Berry. And this is really awesome because I'm ready to jump into Acrobatics, and the Reflect wears off. Oh, I go for Star Dance because... I was at uh, minus one when I started. So yeah, now I'm plus six, no reflect. This is going to be a sweep. He goes for extreme speed and he does not get a critical hit or anything. Acrobatics, taking down, taking out this defensive Arcanine from full health. Uh, but honestly, Arcanine was a beast in this battle. It really shut most of my team down. Goes into the Raptor. This thing is just gonna die real quick. Just kidding. He has a, a quick attack with choice, man, uh, with choice scarf. This is why he outsped. Sadly, uh, I send out my Zeus because I know he's locked into Choice Scarf. I mean, locked into Quick Attack. I go for Volt Switch because the switch into Gudra is really obvious, and I don't blame him. What would he have done 
just sacrifice this to Raptor, it would have been stupid. So go for Volt Switch, and um, this doesn't do shit to Gudra, even though it's a critical hit. Switch out, and uh, go into my manager, because I know from this range, Cross Combat will kill. And uh, even if he switched this to Raptor, he, he's probably going to die. So go for Cross Combat. This ticks the Gudra out, and um, yeah, uh, Gudra is down. And lastly, the Staraptor versus Charizard, Jolteon, and... Um, Arcanine. So I switch out because I, I am at minus one defense, plus I want to intimidate on him. He goes for a double edge. Charizard will not take a reckless double edge. And uh, I easily go down to this double edge. He gets a heck ton of recoil, which is what I really wanted. Go into my Manjo, intimidate him just, just in case uh, the extreme speed does not kill, even though it's, I think his health is super low, so there's no way for that. So go for extreme speed, take this Raptor out, and this will be the game because. Yeah, extreme speed is good. So yeah, Prof no good, amazing uh, PokeTuber. You should totally check him out, even though he has more subscribers. So I guess um, most of you guys probably already subscribed to him. I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 all the other stuff. See ya.